PayPal, Tesla and SpaceX. Over the past two decades, Elon Musk has launched several multi-billion dollar companies. But did you know that Musk already designed his own rockets as a child? Or that he used to code video games? Or what about his three missions to save mankind? This and more in an all new episode of Tech Titans. I don't ever give up. And I was human. I am human. You're going to see the future. Internet from internet. Tech Titans. Elon Reeve Musk was born on June the 28th, 1971 in Pretoria, South Africa. His mother May is a model and dietitian, and his father Errol, an electromechanical engineer, pilot and sailor. Musk has two younger siblings, his brother Kimball and his sister Tosca. Young Musk was a real bookworm. He reportedly read the entire Encyclopedia Britannica at age 9 and moved on to classics such as The Lord of the Rings right after. By the way, already in elementary school, Musk was fascinated by rockets, which he built in his parents' backyard. The Musk family's housekeeper didn't seem to worry too much about this potentially lethal hobby. She wasn't like watching me. I was off making explosives and reading books and building rockets and doing things that could have gotten me killed. I'm shocked that I have all my fingers. When he was 10 years old, Musk's parents divorced and he decided to move in with his father, a decision he later regretted. Musk had a hard time at home, but also outside of it. According to his brother Kimball, Musk was bullied so badly in elementary school that his parents even moved him to another school. It was about that time when he started developing an interest in computers and quickly taught himself how to program. By the way, in his early days of computer coding, 12-year-old Musk built and even sold Blaster, a science fiction inspired space game. Although he since called it a trivia game, Blaster earned Musk an easy $500 after a South African trade publication published its source code. At the age of 17, Musk left Pretoria against his father's will and moved to Canada to attend university and to avoid the mandatory military service in South Africa. He stayed in Canada for less than three years and aimed for another North American country, the USA. In 1992, he started his studies in business and physics at the University of Pennsylvania. After graduating, he went to Stanford University in California to do his PhD in energy physics. But he dropped out after just two days to start his very first company in Palo Alto, California, Zip2. The company, which he co-founded with his brother Kimball and real estate developer Greg Curie, developed online city guides. Musk became an internet millionaire basically overnight. After only four years, they sold Zip2 for 270 million euros. So fast forward to, well, now. Today, Musk's net worth is estimated at around 52 billion euros. So far, Musk has founded and co-founded multiple companies such as SpaceX or X.com, a company we now all know as PayPal. And did you know that Musk has six children, or rather, six sons? He had five sons with his former wife, Canadian author Justine Wilson, and one with his current partner, Canadian musician Grimes. By the way, when Grimes gave birth to their son on May the 4th, 2020, Musk announced that they had named the boy XHA12. Later that month, it was reported that the state of California wouldn't accept a name with a number. So the couple said they were changing their son's name to XHA C. Maybe you think, hey, I knew most of that already. But I bet you didn't know the following three facts about Musk. While everybody associates Tesla with Elon Musk, he wasn't the one who started it. The company was founded by engineers Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening, who financed the startup until the Series A funding. Musk led Tesla's first financing round in 2004 and joined the board of directors as chairman. Due to his critical investments and involvement in the company, Elon Musk is officially considered a co-founder. Also interesting, as of 2019, Elon Musk is the longest serving CEO of any car manufacturer in the world. Superhero Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, is at least a little bit inspired by Musk. 
the actor playing Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr., reportedly wanted to sit down with Musk to get ideas for the character. Parts of Iron Man 2 were filmed at the SpaceX headquarters and Musk even made a cameo appearance in the movie. At 16 years old, Musk wanted to open an arcade with his cousins and brother Kimball, close to their high school. They got as far as signing a lease, setting up contracts, filling out forms at the city planning department. But their plans got cancelled when the city told them they were too young to get a real estate permit. But of course, starting a business hasn't really been a problem for Musk later in his career. Almost all the companies Musk has founded, co-founded and led since leaving PayPal focus on three existential risks faced by humanity. Climate risk, single planet dependency risk and human species obsolescence risk. Let's look at Musk's three main missions. Like many of us, Musk is concerned about climate change and everything that comes with it. His companies Tesla Motors, Solar Cities, and The Boring Company are aimed at addressing climate risk, while Tesla's electric vehicles and The Boring Company's Hyperloop tunnels aim at reducing emissions, Solar City focuses on, you guessed it, using solar energy instead of fossil fuels. According to Musk, humanity's long-term survival is at risk if we stay just on this one planet. He is certain that sooner or later some disaster like an asteroid or a nuclear war will end our time here. SpaceX wants to make space travel more affordable and accessible. But Musk originally founded the company in 2002 to get us off the planet. Musk and others say that artificial general superintelligences or AGSIs, machines that will become smarter than human beings, will be an existential risk to the future of humanity. That's why, in 2015, he co-founded the not-for-profit company OpenAI to develop friendly AI. OpenAI provides free access to its advanced AI research results. The idea is to spread the knowledge on how to make AGSI safe and to prevent powerful companies from monopolizing AGSI technology. And of course, there's Musk's company Neuralink a neurotechnology startup company that focuses on connecting the human brain and artificial intelligence to mitigate the effects of neurological disorders. What do you think of Elon Musk? And which tech titan would you like to hear about next? Let us know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe.